And there have been a number of third quarter financial results out today. DR Development has reported a consolidated net profit of 78.47 million dirhams for Q3, up by a record 94% from 40.48 million registered in the same period in 2013. Aided by robust property sales, booking and property delivery, the net profit for the first nine months of the year rose 122% to 193.04 million dirhams. That's compared to 87.15 million for the same period in the previous year. Meanwhile, total shareholders' equity of the Dubai financial market listed property company stood at 4.3 billion dirhams with total assets recording 6.1 billion. And additionally, Sharjah Islamic Bank announced 295 million dirhams in net profit for the third quarter. That's compared to 221 million achieved in the same period last year, a 33.5% growth rate. Net customer facilities reached 13.9 billion dirhams, rising by 1.4 billion, an 11.3% increase since December 2013, and customer deposits reached 14.2 billion dirhams, rising by 2.2 billion, or 18.9% growth since December 2013. Total assets reached 24.4 billion dirhams, growing by 12.4%. DP World has welcomed the first scheduled vessel at its new container terminal 3 over in Jebel Ali, as it gears up to serve customers at the state-of-the-art facility. The APL Phoenix was welcomed by DP World Chairman, His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Suleyem. Other senior officials from DP World and APL Phoenix. Once fully operational next year, the world's most modern container terminal will add a further 4 million 20-foot equivalent container units capacity to the port, taking total handling capacity at Jebel Ali to 19 million TEU. According to a statement, Terminal 3 gives Jebel Ali the ability to handle more of the new generation mega vessels and as many as 10 ultra-large container ships at the same time. Terminal 3 features 19 of the world's largest and most modern key cranes, operated largely by Emirati nationals, including women. His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Suleyem, the chairman of DP World, said that we are proud to welcome the APL Phoenix to Terminal 3 as trial operations begin at our newest terminal. As the 850 million US dollar Terminal 3 comes online, it will support the growth of Dubai, the UAE and the wider region. The Jebel Ali Free Zone Authority has announced that trade volumes between the UAE and Turkey are expected to reach 15 billion US dollars by next year, with increasing interest from Turkish companies to use Dubai as a trade hub. According to news agency WAM, Jabza has reported that the Free Zone's trade volumes with Turkey have witnessed a compound annual growth rate of 22% over the last decade and currently stands at 734 million US dollars. It has estimated strong growth for the coming years as trade volumes between the UAE and Turkey stood at 5 billion US dollars three years ago. The figures come in line with their recently concluded roadshow in Turkey, where they are optimistic about an increased interest from a number of companies to set up in Dubai. The Free Zone Authority added that there are currently more than 90 Turkish companies operating out of Javza, and the team is looking to enhance trade ties with Turkey and bring more Turkish companies to Javza and Dubai and help them connect with one of the world's leading free zones. Middle Eastern equity issuance totaled 5.1 billion US dollars in the first nine months of 2014, a 43% increase in activity from the same period in 2013. That's according to the latest report. Thomson Reuters released its quarterly investment banking analysis for the Middle Eastern region, showing that investment banking fees reached 138.2 million US dollars, 60% less than the value recorded during the previous year. 
The value of announced M&A transactions with any Middle Eastern involvement reached 11.8 billion US dollars during Q3, an 18% decline from the previous quarter. Fees earned so far during 2014 saw a slight uptick from last year, from 631.7 million US dollars to 633.1 million. Speaking about the merger and acquisition activity, officials said that M&A during the first nine months of 2014 increased 2% from the same period last year to reach 29.9 billion US dollars. While domestic and inter-Middle Eastern M&A declined 44% to 8.3 billion US dollars. Qatar's overseas acquisitions accounted for 45% of Middle Eastern outbound M&A activity, while acquisitions by UA and Saudi Arabian companies accounted for 25% and 22% respectively.